Well, here we are at Clark's place again. What'd you buy yourself for your birthday? <laughs> we got ourselves what you call a Moto Tech Fat Boy electric scooter. For a couple fat boys. Oh, you want to bring it down? Oh, yes. Which way does it? Uh, yeah, that's a. Way. Weighs a hundred and some pounds. All right, let's see what's in Moto the box. Tech. We'll see what we got here. We bought this to be able to go to Moultrie, Daytona, and car shows. Instead After of Moultrie and Daytona and all that's done. Instead of 2022 season's gonna be oh boy cruising. Look at that. A little seat. There's a seat. Where are we gonna build it over here? Yeah. Oh, I got a blanket right here. We can throw down so we don't scratch anything. Okay. Handlebars. These are, those look like fenders. Handlebar. That's a charger. Oh, it looks They're like connected. it's connected there. So I, I so saw that. Take this out. That'll take that out. This out. Right. Down. And that probably can come up now. Yep. Uh oh, there's tools. Fenders. Oh, yeah, tools, hardware. How oh, cool. That's bolts. Okay. That phone came Looks like that. it's pretty much together. What's this? What is that? Looks, Looks like, like a goose thing neck to Oh, maybe the seat. Seat. Thing. Yeah. Oh, here's the seat. Oh yeah, that's. All, oh. All seat stuff. And the hand and the handlebars. Is that what that is? Looks like it. Okay, this comes off. Okay, that looks like the front, and the fork, handlebars. So pretty well assembled. Yeah, it looks like it. This just is gonna go and mount. Yep. And then the whole bottom. So batteries and everything. I was expecting more than this. Uh, I mean, like not more, but like. Can you lift that up more, out of there? More work. Oh, it's yeah. it's a hundred pounds. Uh, all right. Hang on, I can put. Here, let me just wrangle this beast. Uh, grab a handlebar. Where are they? Oh, they're dangling. Okay. And we'll put her over here. Okay. All right. Let's see. What else? Do we have anything else in the box here? Uh, nothing there. Okay. That's it. I was thinking you were saying it was flat tire, but they're not really flat tire like. Okay. Like I was thinking. Yeah, they're not flat. I thought they... Oh, oh, I'm holding the brake. No wonder the front wheel won't move. The brakes... <laughs> the kickstand's already on. Uh, let me get some tools. How about... Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got Look empty. This one looks empty. Oh, it's chrome. I see. Okay. Is that something we're keeping? I don't think. I don't know. I don't think so. Probably just a plug for. Yeah, that's just a handlebar to go down. Let's not throw anything away yet. That looks like. Yeah, that's a. That's a seat. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. And there's the gooseneck. Oh, it's a shower cap. Hey, look at that. There's. I might have scuffed cool. these handlebars here. No. Nope. Oh, uh, here's the keys. The bad boy. Oh, it looks like the fenders are the same, front and back. Are they? Looks like it. Oh, makes it easier for us. <laughs> it's plastic fenders. Yeah. Not too bad. Well, it's 
I was thinking it'd be metal fenders and we'd weld something. I on. know, I thought in the picture these looked like they were nice metal. Yeah, not bad. So those bad boys. Oh, the hardware's already on it. We just I gotta throw it on there. Well, there's, there's two, four holes up here, but only two bolts. Oh, you don't have four. No. Uh, let me check the box. Oh, you got four back there. There's four here, yeah. If we don't have the hardware, we have hardware here, mister. Yeah, but look at this. It's got a, like a neoprene washer. Um, here's a, here's an Allen head nut. Is that what that is? No. Oh yeah, they're all Allen, but... Oh, not the, not the same type though. Well, let's see what we have in here. We got something here. Is this a battery charger? Maybe? Yep, looks like it. Instructions. Battery connection. It comes with a blade fuse. Oh, yeah. Four of those, two Allens, and two, uh, two little wrenches. Look at new tools. Look at that. Yeah. Buy a scooter, get some tools. That's trash. Charger. I imagine there's another part that. Plugs into the wall. Oh, it's a standard connection. Standard plug. There's no. Oh, I hear right here. What? Oh, okay, good. That's right, yeah. Okay, that's got a little push button. This. It probably comes with some juice in it already, I would think. Probably. Wouldn't you? Yeah. Whew. So, these have nuts on them. Nice got nuts on them. Alright, yeah, I think this is universal either way. Yeah. Here's the here's the plug right here on the side. Oh yeah. So you oh, got a little I cover have a, for it. We'll cover. I'll come over and film that. Okay. You on time lapse or you on? I'm on regular. You're irregular, alright. Alright, so a little cap. Bloop. Charge. Serial number, all that good stuff. Looks like it's on there. Yep. And then plenty of steel that yeah. we can weld and do that's whatever. That's the battery, I know that. Looks yeah. like all those bolts that come out lift off of it. That's how you get to all the batteries. Yep. And what is this called? A moto moto what? Moto tech. Moto tech. But look on the uh looks like it's halfway grip tapey. Look on the uh, light. And where it charges, I think it says something in there too. Oh, uh, uh, electric Harley. Electric Harley. Okay. Yeah. So we got our old fat boy Harley. Okay, that's like a standard bicycle with that. Oh, like a little there. neck. And then it, I guess the other thing, bolts of that, that's what these four bolts are for. Allen's. Oh, those. So you're missing two front fender bolts? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, there's, there's, yeah, got, there's four holes just like the back one. Yeah, and you got. Well, let sure. me look in the box. They maybe fell out. Yeah. I mean, they could have. I didn't see them when I, when I looked. Well, the instruction manual was laying there. Oh, there's one. Okay. And I don't. I don't see. Here they are. They're in this bag. Holy cow. You see them in the bottom. I flipped that. I know. Well, this is just an excuse to suffocate your son. Yeah, get in there a little deeper, will you? <laughs> get this on the camera. Is there two? Yeah, I got it. Yep, looks like a little... Okay, they're all there then. Need Good. Green jobbies. Got some. Yeah, that's like that's grippy. You're right. Yeah, a little bit. Or not refined. <laughs> yeah. We can throw some grip tape on it if you need to keep your footing. Okay. I've seen you use scooters to yours and a booth's destruction before. Okay, we're look at the look at the other video about that. Oh you, what every time it? I point to uh, our audience, you look. <laughs> what are you pointing at there, Clark? Okay, this is gonna go there. Uh, it has something to do with this. Yeah. yeah, that's the back side of this. You put the four bolts in. 
Oh, that slides down and that nut tightens and spins and keeps that tight. See, that just goes through there. You can't, you can't adjust these bars. It's like once that bolts up, that's where it is. Hmm. You can't make it a bore. bar again. See, that's on there permanent. Well, you're right, there, aren't any, there aren't any other holes either. This is swiveling. Right, but that's just... But if you're saying that, mouse to that. Yes. Because I'd want mine, like, out, I think. Well... And they're going to go like that. Okay. Okay. On well, a future episode of Clark's Place, we're going to modify the hell out of this thing. Do you want to take that and then we'll drill a different hole? Or you want to just put it together first? I saw this drill a different hole. Let's do it now. Okay. Cust customize the bike right okay, out Okay, so if we're going to be like this, you're going to want to... So it's going to have to be below the back one. I would say... Right if there. If I'm sitting, I'd want it probably... Oh, let me get this Probably, in yay. Yeah? Okay. Well, how are you How are you sitting on it? See where you think. If you're above that yeah. hole... Because the seat's just a straight pipe up. Let's see where your arms hit. Yeah, see, I would, I would want it out like that too. All right, well, we'll just come down. Drill another hole. Another hole. Through. Yes. Okay. All right, well, then we got to take that off. All right. Here we go. We got tools. You want to zip this off real quick, or, or well, it's got all the wires connected. Might be just as easy to take that off. Drill. All right. Yeah, sounds like aluminum maybe. Or stainless steel, I don't know. Okay, that came off. Is that? Yep. And that came off. Okay. So we can we can drill that differently. Okay, where what angle do we need? Put your goose put your goose head up there. That is what clamps to this, right? Yes. So there's your angle that you need to go straight through it. Oh, hold on. Let's see. We're not children on this thing, so I'm thinking like I think I'm about where the seat sits. Okay. Yeah, I would say somewhere right in there would be most comfortable. Okay. For probably both of us. You wanna mark? I'm taking this up out and seeing. Wow, that's just it's right next to that one, right below it. We'll just drill beneath and above. Yeah. Just drill through. Looks like a little bigger than a quarter inch, three eighths. Yeah. All right. I'll get it. We drilled it. Yeah, from the pictures you showed me, the tires look flat, flat. All right, we're back rolling. So that's this. So I'm thinking if we've got that, I'd say. We don't want to intersect the other one, so probably like about there. Yeah, as long as those holes don't connect. Okay. I think that's about centered, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that should be good. Ooh. I don't think I've ever drilled a circle before. <laughs> probably it. not. Need one of those pipe drilling machines. Walken. Christopher Walken. You get it now. Is that too far down? No, I think it's gonna be just right. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go straight down through, right? Yeah, yeah. It'll come out below or above the other side. If you hit it. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go straight through. Sure. 
That's one of bolts to it. Um, no, this goes like such. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That looks way, way wrong, but we'll see. Oh, it's because I wasn't putting it over there right. Oh, that comes from the front? No. Oh, is that maybe yeah. how it goes and it mounted the other way? Okay, let me make sure we're putting it on right. It's going to be like uh, this. Brakes are the other way around. You got the bars around. So oh, yeah, yeah, I see the light now. You see the light? Whoops, wait a minute. By the time you saw the light. Okay, I gotta go here. Um, yeah, I would guess this goes in. Okay, that where, tightens. Yeah, where did the nut go? We took off of there. Um, it's gotta be right there. There's a nut right there. That's it. Oh, okay. You did go straight through, it looks like. Alright, cool. You got two bolts. Wrench there. Oh, wrench here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the little one. So we'll get it all assembled, see how everything works. Then we'll disassemble, repaint to our customization liking. What color are you painting? I don't leave them black. You're leaving them black, huh? Well, yeah, come on. Oh, there we go. This is. Goes on there really tight. Yeah, you can't be pulling wheelies with this thing because uh, no, that's not the strongest of material. It says on the box this is not a toy. Oh, -hoo -hoo. So. so you can't play with it. No. You can't ride wheelies. These tools leave a lot to be. Designed. We have tools here. I you know. know. You don't have to use the provided tools. <laughs> okay, that's tight. You got a brand new Milwaukee kit for your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> and you're using a Chinese wrench. Oh, well, there's a lot of files. I see, yeah. Get them files out of there. Okay. Okay. That goes there. I like that. That looks. Uh, here, I'll hold it there and let me put it. See, it looks like it's too far forward, but it, it may not be with your big old ape in your arms. That's where you want it. That's where it's supposed to be. Well, that's where we got it. Well, I got it. So just kind of see if we overshot because the bolt was too far forward. No, not for you. Here. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna like that just fine. Okay, good. That'll be just dandy. Okay, cool. Okay. We should have four of these. Yep. One, two, three. Those are going in the front of the gooseneck. Did you want to tighten this even with the steering? Looks even there if you want to cinch that down. Yeah. Yeah. This is just like an old bicycle. Yeah, I haven't messed with a bike in forever. I know, I haven't either. Okay. So, instead of ClarksonCougars.com, we're ClarksonScooters.com. Yeah. Uh, I'm only seeing three of these. I know there's four. Okay, that looks right on here. Here. So is there a capture nut or is it thread into that? It's threaded. Just threads in. Yeah. You gotta come down a little bit. There, there it is. Yeah, that's that's raked out pretty good. You easy rider. <laughs> nice. Here, so, go ahead and can you tighten that? Um, yeah. I'll hold the. I don't think it really started, did it? Um, no, sir. I don't think so. Okay, we found was, the mystery screw yeah, that was missing. Yeah, you showed them where it was. It was stuck in my shoe. <laughs> those, Air, those Air Jordans, they like to... It had it captured. I couldn't feel it. 
So, but so I would suggest doing this as well. All four of them. Is make sure the holes are tapped and yeah. levable. Yeah, make sure they're, they're good and like reamed out good. Oh yeah, those won't come out. No, they're, they're tough to get they're in. They're tough, I know. So it. I thought I'd rather start them out to where all of them are going in good. Okay, these are top two. Left and right. Okay. But they, it felt like it was going to strip. Yeah. Putting them through this way, through that. I just didn't want something to cross through it. Exactly. And these are the bottom two. We don't want no cross threading. No. Oh uh, yeah, you got the bars right. Yep. Looks like we got a little horn here. I guess that's probably front brake. Got a light. Oh. Right, Throttle. See. You gonna flood the engine? Yeah. I think so. I can't see it. That looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that one is going. That's a go. Yeah, you got to use it the other way to really get them tight. Take these in and out enough, they'll get real easy. I don't want them easy. I know. I want them one and done. Yeah. Okay, I think that is tightening pretty good. I can't see it. I'm going to keep holding. It's got a lock washer. Yep. Can this go back any further? No, because it actually comes forward. <laughs> That's probably not meant to install this way. Probably. <laughs> It's a modification. It's a Clark's Place mod. Anybody buys one of these, we don't do these mods. Uh -huh. Take it to a okay. restoration shop. That is, I believe, starting. So, yeah, you wiggle it a little you've bit. Got, now it's easier. You've got power Allen's, don't you? But they're probably all metric. Oh, yeah, here. I'm going to grab one. Sure, make a lot easier. Sure, be a lot easier. Yeah. yeah. That should be good. Put it on screw instead of torque. All right. I wanted to get them yeah, halfway snug. seated. Seated and snugged it. Did. Yeah, it's so pretty now, snug. Let me crank up the heat a little for this guy. Still more? Yeah, I can put it on drill, it just might break my arm off. No, you don't want to do that. Here, we'll just tighten them up with this. Because you don't want to, I don't think you want to over tighten these. But you want Finish to. them by hand. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Bars look pretty straight. Might be leading a little bit to the right justification, but. Oh no, I'll live with that. I'm pretty satisfied with that one. Well, I think when it's. Squealing. Squealing, it's probably about all she wrote. I don't think you moved those in. Well, you did. Just a smidge. Well, well, I don't want it to get to the point where it's stripping it's out that screw or stripping out right. that inside. Right. Okay, yeah. this has two little big Phillips. Yeah. Does it come with a Phillips with the kit or no? No. You need a Phillips? I'm pretty sure that's a Phillips. Yeah. I've got one set up there, don't I? Uh, I got one right here. Oh, I thought I, I, thought I had one over here. Mm -hmm. This old duder. Okay. Tighten. How do you want your light facing? Um, that's pretty straight right there. Still 
still can move a little bit. Um, is it meant to have some adjustment? No. Well, then it, it, it needs to be a little tighter so yeah. it doesn't end up pointing at the ground. That went tighter. Oh, yeah, that's tighter. There. Yeah, it's pretty sturdy. Yeah. You gotta watch it stuck down in there. I see it, the plastic's been put on the glass before it got mounted. Yeah, I see. I think I got all of it. Um, I didn't. Well, you got a bigger one then. I got some plastic eyelashes out there. Here's the key. See if it's got a charge. Yep. Good thing it wasn't in gear. <coughs> Ran to me over. Is this a front brake? Uh, take your kickstand off before you break your ankle or something. Ooh, look at that. Oh, this is the front brake. Front right. Brake's on the right. Right hand, yeah. Yeah, I think you, like motorcycles, I think you brake with your left majority of the time. Okay. And I think your right foot is usually, oh, looks like it's a little jumpy there, Clark. It's a jumpy. All right, cool. Let's put a seat on her and see what happens. Can't lift that up. It's heavy. Turn off the power. Okay. The seat. Where's the? Here it is. I would say. The electric Harley has three out of four bars. Oh, or it's full charge. It must get down to the amber light, and you know you're about dead. Oh, maybe. Legally dead. What are you doing? You alright? I just nailed on a piece of metal. Here, we got here. Don't nail on a piece of metal. Yeah, there, that's better. Okay. Alright. We could run no front fender. No rear fender. You know, keep the weight down. Yeah, there's no weight to that thing. <laughs> Alright, I'm saying these probably now. Okay, inside. you want this up higher? I'd say and probably then you've got all the way down. You've got some adjustment so, here too. I'd say all the way down low as well. On this one? Yeah. Okay. Fine. And the holes are on this side, which for this go down so we'll have to make sure it mounts on the seat All right. this I'm way. Gonna, I'm gonna throw this fender on if I can. Yeah see it's inside I don't think you can get that on the outside can you? Hold on I want to see if it's... Yeah one end is shorter than the other. Yeah I wonder if this is longer. I wonder if that goes like this. I think it does. That looks like it fits better. Yeah does to me too. All right, so we want Allen nut on the inside of the wheel. Yeah. Like going you, like this. In. No, you can't get to it. I thought about that. This you can't get the Allen behind there. That's so what I'm tight. saying. So Allen on the outside, like this. Yes. And the nut on the inside. And I would say that. Well, there are shorter ones than the others. The washer. Girls, the washer goes between here to keep from skiffing your paint jab. Yeah, from the vibration. Okay, another custom modification. What do you do? Um, the bolts seem long enough that they're going in close to the tire. Yeah. So what I'm doing is here's another taking a washer and. Oh, putting it on the outside. Yes, sir. Bringing it in. That's okay. And then I think the rubber piece is supposed to go toward in between. That's yes, because this plastic uh, probably vibrate. Will maybe. vibrate, and you need the rubber because it's going against metal. Yeah, that's, that's kind of my thought to processes. Now this one back here. Let's get the get all the stuff out. Did you steal my last bolt? No, I, I laid it right here. Okay, you did. You stole it. I had it laying right here. I thought it was extra. 
Like come back over here and set me up for failure? Yeah. And that way I can beat you. Oh, is that what this? Uh, the other thing is if you are watching these instructions so you don't have to read them, um, the long part of the fender goes to the back. If you mount it the, the other way, okay. so it kind of comes back and shields more of the battery than the front, because if you mount it the other way, it almost dives into the tire here. So keep that in okay, mind. Okay, how do you want this on here? This can go on the inside of these brackets, fine. Yeah, that's how I would do it. But I don't know if you can see you that. You can also put it over the outside of them. Hide the bracket. No, 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 no. Brackets on the outside, definitely. That looks like it's been in the plastic all the time. I'm fine with the hardware being okay. out there. It's fine. Yeah, right. It's good. Well, then this has to be the same way. You got got to be put in between the little grommet. Make quick work of this scoop. That looks like it. Well, I can't read what it is because I spray painted over it. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, I spray painted all my metric stuff. Yeah. Where's that other Allen wrench? Uh, there's that. I'll do this then. I'll find that. Yeah, it's got a little bit of clearance between there. A little clearance clearance. Right. Um, oh, yeah, you can kind of pull it back just a smidge. Yeah, they're slotted. There's a little bit of an adjustment on it, looks like. Yeah, it might, might need a little more adjustment. Now, will a, will a rubber piece be the same as a lock nut? Like it keeps enough pressure? Well, those are okay. nylon nuts, too, so they shouldn't yeah. rattle out. No. Okay. I'm thinking... Well, we'll have to, we'll have to check them. Thinking too much about the scooter. <laughs> Look good with a little Clark's Place logo right there. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get busy on that. Yeah, huh. Oh, getting her down low now, huh? Yeah, get it down here. That way. Less zooming and editing in the editing process. One more. These are just on there slightly. You got plenty of room to slip that washer in between. Oh, these don't need the extra washer on the back side? No, of my gosh. They don't. There's... Oh, is the front tire fatter? No, it just hugs down lower. Huh. These are up higher. Oops, a daisy. I saw it rolling here. This. Okay, I think you got it. Okay. Just put the wrench wrench over. Yeah. Use that guy. Snagger up. So what you tighten it? this? Oh no. No. That's the number ten. I believe. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, but now you want it here. I say right there. It's fine. Yeah. Bottomed out? No, you want it low on the back. So just just like that. That looks even. Well, that's where you want it? Yeah, it's fine. Do you have it back on drill or do you have it on I screw? Didn't, I didn't touch the setting. It's on screw. Okay. But it didn't. Is it going to uh, stop automatically? Should. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, boy, it's gonna be nice. Okay. 
you can add two more Allen lint or lint wrenches to your collection. I'm trying to get away from using stupid wrenches and start using this. Yeah. Works easy. That's a problem. You don't have a lock torque. Torque end, or what do they call that end? Chuck. No, the that type that just that clips in. Like this. This is the type, this type we like. Oh yeah. Well that these this are a chuck. These are sockets, so yeah. I had to use this. So Okay, you need to tighten this up. They have the same as this? Uh I don't know. I can't turn it. Check it with my hand. Oh, wrong Alan. Give me that one. All right, that'll go more. Wow. Okay, we want the little. But I've got it all the way nestled, all the way down there, so it shouldn't. So shouldn't go got a down. Little, it's got a little pin be able to go in the holes and that's on this side so you got to make sure your orient orientation of these This clamps, it's supposed to adjust. You can yes. do that and then yes. clamp the seat if you raised it up or down. Yes, quick, it's a I quick. think I'm just gonna set it down. Yep. Okay, all, are these nylon nuts too? No. Well, these they've, just, just, they've got like a cross hatch neural thing. It'll probably bite into the paint a little bit because that's not the greatest uh, precision tool that they send us. Uh, no. <laughs> Probably, it's like around an 8. It's close to an 8, 10, give or take, millimeter or so. Oh, I still got a ways to go. I have metric sockets too. I do too. A couple sets of them. I know. That we never use. I know, because we're all American. We're using IKEA tools here to yeah. <laughs> put this together. But almost everything you get today is probably got metric in it, so you gotta have them. I think these are gonna be fun at the swap meets. I think we'll, yes, sir. we'll probably weld on some sort of bracket here, come up and across, and probably our, our baskets we have hanging up there come down and we probably clip in and pull that basket behind us yeah. for parts. And then there's plenty of room on I the floor. I was thinking of doing one of those um, little four-wheel carts. Yeah. Okay, now that, you've got to push that in and you want it that There you go. Okay. I'm thinking I'll bottom it out. There. That's Tighten that pretty snug. Oops. And then, yeah, it goes, comes towards me or down. I think it just goes like that. Yep. Yeah, I think that's sitting on the ground. Let's see. Let's see how that feels to you. Oh, to me? Yep. I thought this one was yours. Well, feels good. Oh, I gotta turn it on. Hey, the last time we had you on a scooter, you had an accident. No. Pick up your kickstand. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you can you can hold it back. Well, don't strip off the handlebars, right? Very first thing. No, I'm saying the motor. You can hold it back. Oh, can you? Yeah. Okay. But you just let go. It's it's got a lot of pep to it. Want to open the door, go down the hill, and come back? Yeah, go down and see what you think. All right. Into the great unknown. 
-hmm. I think that I would like. Watch my Jeep. I would like these up, that up higher. But you gotta, you gotta bend way forward to get a hold of it. Oh, you're talking brakes? Yeah. Oh, those can probably be adjusted. They're probably, yeah, just an Allen there. And, oh, hello. Hey. You hey, mini me. Probably should have checked the brakes first. Actually, the brakes are pretty good. I'm just trying to get used to how it steers. Climbed right up the hill pretty good? Yeah. The back fender looks like you got it not at all quirky. Could be the way the braces are. They need a little tweak and adjustment. Yeah, because these, these bend pretty easy. All right. You want to take a first spin? Now that that's done, let's go see how Pop, Pops' effort turned out. Yeah. Yeah. There's your surprise. We already built his. Or he and Mom built it before I got over here. Yeah. This one is, it's like it's a littler one. I mean, I don't mind it being lower. Because the grips are where I want them to be instead of down. It looks like it suits you for... You, but you're you're like riding a Harley, all leaning back a little bit, and mine's like I'm riding a crotch rocket. <laughs> uh, unplug and let's bring it out here. All right. Oh, you got to turn it off while you. No. I'm, I'm surprised just... you can use it while it's charging. That's weird. I guess because it, it's it's hooked up to. It screws in too, so. Oh, does it? Then I think. Got to keep that cover on there. Yeah, that'd be cool. Get the swap meets, because... <laughs> Kickstand. Yep. Okay, I'm coming. I'm filming you on a scooter every second I get. Yeah, yeah. you want to see me crash into something. Your, your last video has 50 views. That's viral for Clark's Place. <laughs> Looking good. There I'll Faster than those mobility scooters. Oh heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel comfortable on it? I think my thing is rubbing a little bit. Oh mine rubs. Yeah, I like uh, here I'll put the camera back on. I didn't I turned mine off. Oh. Yeah, mine looks lower than yours because my handlebars are slammed down. And my seat is... Oh, well this, this like, seems to, I mean, as much as it looks way different than yours, I mean, as far as me sitting, I mean, I feel... Sit on mine, I bet you it feels like it's too little. This feels like perfect to me. Okay. It, it will probably have me, like, I'll want to push on it. Yeah. So when I made the lap back, I was just kind of just holding on to this and just... Letting the bike do the work, you know. It's not as easy to do it in the dark. <laughs> uh, this yeah. feels, feels like I'm a you know, complete well, idiot. Hello, hello, there's the parade. <laughs> it's like you're on a clown bike. Yeah. yeah, this feels much more suited to me. Yeah. Well, we'll see how they do. <laughs> yeah, but my front fender was rubbing a little. And yours Mine is rubs. quite a bit higher. Yeah, and I messed with mine and messed with mine, and we pulled it up. Oh, see, I did. I had to make a uh, good gasket. And see, I got one on the outside and one on the inside of the back fender. This one's on the inside and this one's on the outside. 
I don't know what you're doing. The fender's on the outside of the bracket, and it's on the inside of the bracket on this side. Oh. I think maybe mom did one side, I did the other. Uh, it looks okay with on both on the outside on mine. I'm gonna turn this off. Yeah. So yeah, I'm happy with them black too. I think they look fine. Yep. We got us a pair of easy riding scooters to go to Moultrie, Daytona, uh, other car shows. Oh, other car shows too, huh? Well. Oh, you know, yeah. My this back fender is tweaked. I see. One yours, side. yours actually looks legit straight, halfway straight. Just one of yours is pulled forward and one's pulled back. That's oh, so here, hold on. I'm gonna do this. See if I can yeah, make, make the adjustment. Oh, maybe, maybe I need to loosen this yes. and pull that side back. Yes. Uh -huh. I can do that. We need to clean them up too. We got metal shavings everywhere. Uh -huh. Somebody had to customize it. Yeah, just a little loose. Whoops, the daisy. Oh, there. You're just popping it up over. Oh, well, that's a little better, but... You can... The bottom one needs to loosen, too, because one moves forward and one moves back. Okay. Now I'll try to let, let me go ahead and loosen both on the other side, too. See if we can get it a little straighter. I like a mag wheels. So I guess the motor is all inside that wheel hub. Is that right? Yep. I think that's the drive. Your plug's not on. Okay, this just... Yeah, the holes could be drilled a little bit off too. I mean, I almost need to drill that hole out a little. Yeah, see how the pivots bottom. Oh, the bottom is the piece that has Yeah, the that's the one that's pivoting. Space. Oh. Still is you got a funky. warped fender. I might need to tweak those a little, so I'd say that's probably all we need to film. We'll do some more customizing, some painting, we some something. Uh, it doesn't say how many miles are on them. Or so hours, no. No hour. I mean, you could probably hook up an hour meter, um, 48 volt one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, all the controls come down and... I don't know where the Break where the uh, motor gets its power. Oh, disc brake! I see little little tiny disc brake. Yep. <laughs> That's cool. But I don't feel any cord going into the center. I mean, oh, there's a cord. There it is. Oh, it goes. It through. goes through that axle. Yeah. It's right there and runs along. Yeah. Pretty good idea. You know, we'll have to check the pressure. Because maybe if we put less pressure in it, maybe they would ride softer. Because they ride hard right now. Oh, we're jumping giant curbs in the yard, too. I mean, I know. the curbs were that big. Okay. Wheelied over one of them. Well, this is another episode of Clark's Place. We went to Scooterville tonight. Oh. So... <laughs> Happy birthday to me and Merry Christmas to Coke. Hey, hey. Actually, it's probably both of our Christmases. Yeah. What were they? 600 a piece? Is that what they are? 50 something. But they had them on sale for four something. I asked them if I could honor that price. I hadn't even gotten them yet, but I never did hear back from them. All right, well, so that's probably a no. It was 650. And then you can buy five, depending four on four years of insurance. I think it was like $77. So yeah, for both, they're like $1,500 for the pair. Well, we spend $75 bucks a piece every single show. Every show. So That's four... Right. We spend $150 every show because we get two scooters. Oh, yeah. yeah so yeah. you figure 10 shows... $75 a piece is the same as $150 for I, both of us? I think so. <laughs> okay, just checking. So anyway, we, uh, we, would, we would pay for these in 10 shows. So... I don't know if that math's right. I'll have to check. 10 times 150, yeah. <laughs> I think it's 1,500. And we don't have to put gas in these. These were 1,500 for two? All right, everybody. Day two of uh, 
I guess scooter modification. So this is this is what you expect from a day two restoration shop. Not factory, but uh, Dad is pretty much how it comes in the box. Uh, he put a little. You can see a little foam pad there because this was vibrating like crazy. But for mine. Uh, you can see there's literally like hardly any clearance at all for his front wheel. I mean, it is just super tight. And I could not for the life of me get this to fit. Um, so I cut off this front edge and rounded it. So it's got a little shorter front fender on mine. Actually, you can see that's how much I cut off of it. In order to get it to where... It has maybe a quarter inch clearance here and maybe maybe a quarter inch clearance there. I also modified and, and welded in a bracket a little bit taller so I could raise this up just a smidge on both sides. So I welded in a little piece there and moved this up just a smidge. And then for the rear, to avoid the vibration, um, you can see Pops has the two guards coming up there to hold the rear fender. I went ahead and cut mine off and fashioned this. You can see I notched out this, but this is actually going to seal that to where no water can come up here and mess and get into the batteries or anything. And then I'm making this basket. I made this little angle iron bracket to fit this perfectly and then I'll put a couple screws down into the base of that to hold that on there and then this is basically going to sit about here and off of the brackets that I build to come up and support that frame so this basket can sit back here. Um, I'll have some sort of a mount bracket that holds this kind of and makes it live right in there. And the back tire is a little bit smaller, so that, that fender fits that wheel really well. And I don't know if my tires just aired up a little more than his, but man, I could not get that fender to fit. So uh, I also did the handlebars and drilled them out and put another connection through there so the so the arms are farther forward. And Pops did his too. He, he made a little bit of an adjustment to where um, we didn't use the factory hole that holds, that goes through here. I think he put the bars where he wanted and then just tapped and drilled a hole through there to, to make sure that's where he wanted it. So other than that, yeah, I think I'll have a bracket come up and then a bracket come out from there as well. Or maybe come up from here and out from there uh, to kind of support that frame. So, we'll see. Oh, and then Pops also rerouted his front brake line to where this turns and doesn't, doesn't get caught up in everything. Um, so, I kind of like his little zip tie trick where that stays in line. You can see mine's, mine's hanging all out here. And could could snag on something or who knows what so um oh the other thing is you switch it on for power but then the secondary switch is for the light so this is just kind of like a running light so click your key twice if you buy one of these all right oh and mine was all uh welded really bad so this was all like ripply and caved out and didn't seal along here so i put some um i figured if i spill my drink i might mount a drink holder or something here too but uh if i spill a drink it's just gonna go right down there and feed right into the battery panel so i filled that with like a weird uh, rear window weather strip and then these two front bolts oh i forgot to put a washer on that one but I had to re-tap out to quarter 20 because these are something metric or something like that. And 
uh, didn't have the right thread. So, uh, and when they built the thing, they sunk these in and just, this was not sealed down to the battery compartment. So I put some of that underneath and sealed that. So if water does get on here, it's not getting down and getting into any of the batteries. So other than that, you know, you, you buy a scooter and you got to, you gotta customize the whole dang thing. Uh, Pops might do something a little bit different with his throttle as well. I imagine it would be easy enough. I mean, that's just a twist throttle. I mean, you, we could do something that is just a little lever if he wanted to do something different. But it's pretty easy to just hold where you're going. So, stick around. I may do something in another video with how all that ends up and going. So... That should be plenty long enough for today. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.